So we've accidentally ended up framing in the garage because, yeah, we had some roofing issues and yeah, that's why we ended up with the post and then the frame. That's a whole different deal, but we finally got them all installed and ready to go. And now I really see why some people hate my queue so much. You can add me to that list. Well, we're going to go through and make them fully local and get them done, even though they do have their special opener because the cloud sucks. Keep it local. As you can see for now, we just have two buttons hanging here. And this, I'll mount these in that washroom. And yeah, they they wouldn't run inside just due to code reasons, which is understandable, but we'll go ahead and fix that issue. Now, one thing you can see here is these, we won't be able to do that project where we just have a Shelly close the dry contact on these two wires and that's due to I guess I'll call them these are those digital buttons and but we'll do that differently with a spare garage door opener which we'll get to in the project so this is where I don't want them it's gonna be right here in the living room by the window and the door and what I want to do here is remove this stupid really not used this actually is for the motion lights around the home i know previous i guess design was they had all this set up for the outside lights and you would like a schleb having to turn them on and off every night well that's just boring and we don't do that we leave this on all the time sometimes people will accidentally turn it off so this is one of those light switches that everybody has in their older homes i mean i don't know it does nothing maybe it's opening and closing the neighbor's garage door but i'm gonna use this spot for a decora three button switch and i'll use the two buttons to do the garage door and i'll have the lights change depending on the garage doors opening or closed or in action etc and then i'll probably do something with this to i'm not sure yet but we'll see so yeah you can see i don't really that would look goofy with two garage door openers here and it looks so much nicer in there and as well as i'll make the buttons where you have to double press them to open it that way no one can accidentally just come press the button going hey what's this do and you know open the garage door for some reason so there's nothing really over here as a coat rack doesn't get used too much in louisiana and yeah, the wife was like, no, we're not putting them right here. So in the washroom they go and that we're gonna do that little nice little push button that Mike, I think D22 made. And I'm not sure if he still makes them, but if so, I'll leave the link down on the attendee store below. So since I don't want those big honking buttons in the living room, which would look weird, we're gonna put these buttons in the washroom by this door. We don't use it too often. And yeah, you can see the, old PIR sensor that we still use today for this three-way switch but I figure they'll go right here I just need to wall fish a line this is not really an outside wall per se but I can easily should be able to wall fish this with some fishing rods and yeah other things that this project has done you can see pulled all my lattice work and everything out so I've got painting to do I probably put like a motion sensor or something up here that way I catch the motion down through there and then they've left me this wonderful mess but that's been a whole ordeal with them and their lack of communication you can't get good help these days the plug is too far they gave me the wrong measurements we should have had the plug over here instead but now I gotta tack these wires up because yeah I'm not moving this stuff the light bulbs will probably stay just due to the fact that I like being able to change the brightness the color and set them yellow so the bugs don't get attracted as much I don't know if I'm gonna keep the lights in the actual openers maybe so but then the wire I did rerun and this camera will be pulled down that's not really any use anymore. We didn't use it a whole lot, really. And bless you. Is I did run another wire down through here. And 
that goes to the doorbell on the outside because I had that over here by the original door so we didn't need this in here anymore but I'll probably do something and patch this back up and I don't think I'll really need the wire fished anymore but you never know so maybe I'll keep it available somehow so with the spare opener that's probably what I'm going to do is use the spare opener to actually actuate the doors without having to deal with this whole nonsense of my cue being in the cloud that was actually down the first day already when we got these so I'm just gonna huge pass on that and we'll probably run a actual door sensor there and there on each side that way I can easily run something over on a mount like a project box I'm thinking with some sensors actually to see the vehicles shoot down and like a little ultrasonic sensor seen some projects done with those so kind of the whole full automation deal but for the most part things did turn out okay So one thing I do want to change, and I do like this where this is at, is the little keypad. This is just a little wireless keypad and just, I think, a little 9 volt battery in there. And I will put another one of these actually by the door to make it easy to open and close because you never want to remove functionality while adding functionality. So one thing that did turn out pretty cool, I guess because, you know, I'll be biased, I did it, was the doorbell. Yeah, this is the older model this is the 1080p model but hey it does work i really did, didn't need another camera view here but i wanted to be able to i guess two-way talk to someone if the wife wanted to answer it or if i did on the app and you know that gives them a way to push the button to get our attention if, instead of having to walk all the way around to the front of the house which is cool so we had our box cut in and I did see the cool part was the garage door opener button deal actually had the screw holes matched up straight for a electrical box. This isn't really needed since this is low voltage but it was easy to mount something to and plus I had to cut a big hole which is easy for doing wall fishing that way I just run my fishing rod down grab it pull the wire back up and be done with it and start a, instead of some little small hole and trying to drive yourself nuts and getting and dying in the attic because it's too damn hot. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'll just mount the other one on the side with some little wall anchors and you won't see the wire between the two. And she throws you off. Alright, and we'll just keep some extra slack. It's always nice to have some slack. That way you can pull this thing out and if you need to replace it, not trying to fight things. And this is just low voltage anyway. So yeah, we got both of these mounted and I ran the wire over and fished it into these. Now these aren't just regular buttons, you know, so they have basically a I would call it kind of like a MCU inside that does the multi-function because there is the learn button, the lock button, turn on the light, plus you've got that. So it's kind of a multi-function deal and they do it over just those two wires. I think it's like a PWM style signal, but instead of reinventing the wheel and reverse engineering this whole thing, we're of course just going to do and leave these intact and we'll do that remote opener. And pro tip, if you're ever fighting with a Decora plate that, say, has two or three or more, just leave the switches loose inside the box. Not totally loose, but just a little bit where you can still move them. And just let the plate line up the switches themselves. And that way you're not having to fight and everything. Trust me, I've been there and this is so much easier. So I do have the status buttons installed with their lights. 
the bottom light that just shows green or red based on the locks in the house if we have the doors locked or unlocked the top two buttons we can do the double tap or we can do the long press and it flickers to blue to give the user notification that it's trying to send to my queue yeah i had to do that because the cloud sucks again and then they should turn purple showing the status is in the moving and then the green shows the door is open and I know that may be backwards to some people that I do show red is closed and green is open but I wanted to kind of follow along with we're kind of used to the red light for armed on the alarm system so red means secure for us in the evening but one of the issues that I continue to have is the simple delay of things and sometimes I've even found the status of the door doesn't show correctly. I'm not sure what happened that one or two times that's happened but I really don't trust it anymore so this is partly why I want to do this project. I'm in the GoPro. We're getting back on the track, guys. There's no gals that watch that show? No, no girls? Um, you just say guys, first. but with the gals. Safety first. Mm -hmm. Safety first. Safety first. Hmm? I'll put you all up in here. Uh, that's not going to fit in there. <laughs> Owen goes, I got you, bro. Right, bye. Get the scrub on it. Goodbye.